told you that we have KC on the show. It's been 10 weeks since here, Dan. What's going on here in America? I, I'm, I represent light workers. Don't worry, I can pull it off, people. Uh, I'm with the light workers, Dan. You are like the top notch expert in politics. Uh, fun, you gotta stop my itching. Uh, really, Dan. Well, Jerry, you wanna know the truth? The truth is, um, uh, we can't say anything. We have to watch what we're, what we're saying. Yes, I understand that, Dan, but, uh, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was okay to criticize Bush, criticize Clinton, and criticize, um, the other Bush, Reagan, uh, Carter, uh, down the line, uh, Nixon, Eisenhower, Roosevelt, whatever. I mean, but nobody seems to want to stand up for, you know, to say anything critical or crucial of the job that Mr. Uh, President Barack Obama is doing. And uh, really, I was watching all the newscasts, uh, all the MSNBC and the Fox News and CNN. Uh, it's just like fear. And the other one, I mean, even, I mean, yes, last night I was watching uh, MSNBC, Rachel Meadows, and the whole thing was just, uh, the whole theme of the show was very um, condescending, uh, racial, it, it was creating more barriers between things that are already happening now, and I'm going to speak up for that, I really am. Uh, I think I have more compassion. As a human service worker for three years, I work with people who have mental disabilities up here in the state of New York. And uh, it was just crazy what they did to these people. I mean, years ago, you had people in men mental institution, and then, then they um, brought them into these uh, places, you know, out in the community, you know, to uh, live a normal life. You know, I did papers on it, I studied it, uh, I had a gambling problem myself. Uh, that, this is how I, I ran into uh, this field. I went and got help. Uh, I got I got better very quickly when I met the right people and uh, turned everything around. And uh, one of one of the people, you know, I get choked up when I think about it. Uh, his name is Frank. I won't mention his last name, but um, when I met him, it was just like I, I just seen a group of people that I'd never seen before in my life. Uh, I got to know him very well and uh, we often made jokes of the situation. Uh, we shared movies. You know, in my uh, process you know, of getting over something that uh, really uh, just came out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm being honest, people. The thing is, we don't really be honest here in the, in, in today. Uh, it's just like sweep it under the rug. You know, uh, let's worry about it later. I mean, 20 years ago, we had all kinds of uh, things developing that uh, now that we see that are uh, just way out of hand. I mean, I ride my bike around the city. I talk to everyone in the community uh, about what is going on. I mean, you know, I just... I'm up here in Troy, you know, and it's, it's, it's in New York State, and uh, it's just everyone's just sitting around waiting for like a, a meal ticket, a free ride, because they don't know any better. It's just, uh, it's crazy. And then people gotta go out and work for this kind of stuff, where people just sit around all day, and uh, and meanwhile the deficit just gets bigger and bigger and huger and huger and until uh, till it's just way out of hand. And it's all about. Uh, uh, Medicaid and Medicare and uh, health insurance and all that, that's what's going on. I mean, that is the whole uh, gist of it. You know, if it wasn't, trust me, uh, they wouldn't be trying to design a, a thing like this where it's the health insurance becomes, you know, run by the government, you know, because it's just out of hand. I mean, you just take this one state and then look at all the other states, and then you look at uh, all the overspending and all that, uh, it's just out of, it's out of hand. It's just crazy. It's just uh, we waste so much money every day, you know. And meanwhile, the the workforce has gotten smaller and smaller, and they have taken on more and more responsibilities. And uh, the cost of living has just uh, went up 75 percent since uh, Barack took over. So it's just we're spinning out of control. Uh, we just don't 
we don't have no relief, we're just going off the cliff, and uh, nobody can say anything right now, it's just, uh, you know, and then, and then the other person we have to be our savior, uh, everyone is just, uh, well, afraid of him. Well, they don't even know him. Like Rachel Meadows last night was saying, he wants to come over and, and, and wait and turn over uh, Roe versus Wade. No, he did not say that at all. It's just like a lie. Just put fear into you. Just like when all these uh, ads come on, it's, it's all to put fear in you. You know that Republicans going to do away with Social Security benefits and disability and all that. No, that's just fear. There was never a problem when uh, Bush was in office. I worked in human services. The people there were doing fine. They were living very comfortably. Now you have to stay in New York. People with mental disorders smoke cigarettes like you read about. I often visit the people I used to work with right down here in the city. They're all over the whole city here, in Troy. Uh, all the the food banks, all the places that offer stuff are just loaded 24 hours a day. And uh, and now they're just going around like taking cigarette butts off the street, asking people for cigarettes all day. Got a cigarette, got a cigarette, got a cigarette. You know, they're 10 bucks a pack, 11 bucks a pack. These people have a limited amount of income. And you're going to uh, do this to this kind of people who you're, you're saying, well, you're, this is how you're going to do it. Big Brother's going to say, well, I'll, I'll raise them up so high that you can't even smoke. But th that's their only little satisfaction. Just like when my father came down with Alzheimer's, the one thing that he liked and enjoyed was smoking a cigarette. Now, who's going to take that away from him? You know? So, and then this guy is supposed to be for the people. The poor are dead right now. The middle class is just totally wiped out. It's all big corporations. Yet 99% um, just struggling to make ends meet. You got 1% CEOs and all the rich people. All the people have so much freaking money. You can put actors, you put rock stars, you put all the people up in that category. And these people here, all, all they do is just look up to these people, want to be like these people. But in the mean, meantime, you're just closing the door. You know, it's just not, there's no uh, uh, balance, no uh, being equal here. It's just uh, put a suit on, go there, and, uh, you know, represent, you know, people with the dollar. Well, it's just, that's how it is right now. The scale is like this. You know, just the scale. How do we raise it? You know, it's just bringing it down and down and down. You know how we raise it? You'll see what's going to happen. We're just going to uh, we're going to crash and burn.